Bullying is the biggest barrier that you could ever face at school. I know from experience that being bullied knocks your confidence a lot and then it takes a while for your confidence to be built back up. It just can really damage someone, especially if they're really young and bullying happens to them. It makes you fall out of love with school and everyone should want to get out of bed in the morning and go to school where they should be happy and feel safe. I went through quite, I don't want to cry. It can really damage them for all of their life, so I think it's really, really important that we get the measures in place to prevent this from ever happening and to have everyone happier in life. In year nine and when I was younger, the school didn't really offer much about like anti-bullying. It would have allowed me to go to a safe place that we do offer now, and I'm quite glad that the students now do have somewhere to go. In our school we wanted to create an atmosphere where everyone can be proud of what they are and who they are. We want them to be proud of the school but proud of themselves as individuals. I'm not a believer in getting sports mark, arts mark, investors in people, and just having badges above doors that are just bureaucracy gone mad. But in the Diana Award, they were absolutely ideal to be able to tackle the things that we thought needed tackling. At the training, we met many other anti-bullying ambassadors that encouraged our school and inspired us to do more and more things. There is a whole community of people that stand up for what's wrong. Bullying is wrong. It's nothing that should ever happen to any person. One of the senior leadership at the school told me about this idea of being an anti-bullying ambassador and as soon as he told me what it was about, I instantly knew that I wanted to be a part of the team. One of the first things the anti-bullying ambassadors did as soon as we got back from training was we rewrote the bullying policy as it was too long and we thought it wasn't very informative so we changed it up, made it a bit more snappy and easy to follow and now it also includes a whole lot more about cyberbullying and how it impacts people. Anti-bullying ambassadors at our school have decided to brighten people's day by writing positive messages on the mirrors. Whilst Ofsted inspections are good, and it's good to get positive feedback from Ofsted, it's even more important for us to get really positive feedback from our students and from our parents, and that it's felt throughout the community of Joseph Whittaker School. Yes, well a part of the tutor times we've been doing is we've been looking at the consequences of actually bullying, cyber and physical. Welcome to today's anti-bullying session led by your anti-bullying ambassadors. So today we're here to talk about anti-bullying, who we are, what it takes to be an upstander and how you can play your part. Stand up if you know someone who's experienced bullying. Stand up if you know what it takes to be an upstander. Does anyone have any questions for us? So I think now that people are a lot more aware about the consequences and what could happen, I think people will definitely start to think twice before they send a mean message or start to cyber bully someone or start to just bully in general really. It was really good. The ambassadors came in and told us about bullying and told us how to stay safe online. We use Facebook to keep our community updated about all the work we do in school and share some really important messages. So we started Feel Good Friday to give students at the school an opportunity to perform. So anyone can write their name down, sing a song, and then everyone gets a round of applause at the end. And it just makes everyone feel good, which is why the name is Feel Good Friday. And some weeks we try to base the songs on uh, anti-bullying, so just to really like raise awareness. And it's not about having the best performers there, it's allowing anyone to perform. You know, when you're watching those performances at lunchtime today, you do get a little bit of a, you know, a lump in your throat see those kids stand up there doing what they were doing. Um, the crowd cheer them on and it's a great atmosphere and it gives our students confidence and makes everyone know that they, they can be who they want to be. We are the anti-bullying ambassadors from the Joseph Whittaker School.